So you guys understand what is the definition of tennis elbow and inject, jerk, twist, close, and open can and even the open the screw or this line and suddenly like punching, hope it's like in the slide. All right, just testing. All right, <clears throat> the first thing you can see the third and fourth finger usually on the third and fourth finger uh, rotation will affect the tennis elbow line. All right, all right, very easy. There are a few days, a few ways to do the tennis elbow. The first thing, the most easier thing is using the coin. Ding, 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 ding. Coins. And how you check? You can move around. You can see the dot is moving, moving, moving. You can see this one dot. Ding, 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 ding. See, like tingling, tingling. Ah, you can see the vibration. Vibration here and here. Ah, oh. Ah, this is what you want to see. This is the main point. So whenever you move your finger like this, move like swimming, ding, 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 ding. then you can see this part over here. And the main point, you try to press over here. Wow. wow. Whatever you press here, you feel the whole hand is numb. Even I try to put like this and you take it out. The easy way, you put the 50 coins or any coins put around here, whatever you can try around. Whatever you press here, or maybe here, or maybe on top of what, you find the point is very short pain. Uh, I put it here. Ah, I can feel it. I can feel it. What you do? Using a plaster. A plaster to glue it up. Like this. How you glue? Let's say you want to DIY yourself, very easy. You just put on your leg and snap it. Ah. So the coin is over here. The coin is over here and don't rotate and what you just like this and press here and push on on top first push on top and the most important you can see i'm using the downward and press very hard pull very hard and press press very hard now now you can see the coin on my hand now you can see the coin is moving but this is called a compression. Actually, the, the tennis elbow is uh, between the, the tendon and human to overwriting. We call it entrapment. What we do is uh, this part is putting the coin to separate, separate and the coin on top and press. Whenever press already, you try to move it, feel better. Now I press it. Good. So try again. Okay, try again. You see this hand? Normal hand, perfect hand. I can rotate left, right left right left right just now my this hand until one side and two short pain here and pulling and the pain part even i lift up like this also painful now stick like this and slowly rotate this works wow see you see another one more time Actually, I injured two hours ago. Again. Yeah, correct. Good. And third one. I feel like a tingling, tingling sensation. Whenever you feel the tingling, tingling, tingling sensation, means it's correct. It's comp compressed. Uh. Actually, the, the tennis elbow is between the core overlapping and scratch and scratch. That's why painful. Now, I see for me too. Turn like this, or using the the door knob, try to turn like this. Where they cannot get up. Uh, this one so easy, but this one now much more. Ah, uh -huh, see, much more easier. This is one of the faster way to release the tennis elbow and try to open back again uh, and see. So without the coins, without the coins, now try and see. See maximum only. Cannot really. One more time. Holding and rotate. See? My whole hand is a uh, shaking. Shaking. Cannot turn. Not easy to turn. Wow. It's quite painful. So now I understand the Chinese and how I feel. So I put back on uh, this point and tidy up very hard. Tidy up very hard. Start it very hard and rotate, rotate, rotate. And this part straight again and rotate. 
actually it's wood. See, actually it's wood. More easier and push up wood. And the second thing, try back. You see, I'm using the water, water, and the tip. Here is a normal hand. I can rotate over here. Easier. And easier. And just now, this one cannot. Holding. Uh, I feel the sensation here. Alright. A bit holding sensation. And turn to the side. Good. Not so pain really. I feel a little bit tingling on the third and fourth finger. And here. Yes. Good. Actually quite effective. Alright. The second thing to exercise back to the uh, tennis elbow, you can. Stretching like this. Pull every morning, wake up early in the morning. You straighten your hand maximum. Straighten your hand and pull your finger up. For how long? You can do about 20 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Cut. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Very good. And how about? Down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And down again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is one of the way to release for the tennis elbow uh, because why it's caught and trapped okay so now of course this is a temporary uh, to let you feel better and what of this is not a cure part so the cure part now i teach you the the diy how to fix your tennis elbow you can see a lot of my video uh, uh, I, my video is very easy i just holding the hand and jerk and like this like this jerk so what is the definition of this jerk especially holding here and here and snap in and out up to papa then if you eat all the movement and straight and then no more pain so let's say but this one you can try at home you can uh, do it uh, do it by yourself it's uh, one of the technique i do it from now because now i'm uh, quarantined myself and uh, no one help me uh, the only person who can help is myself so see whether it's work or not okay i take it out this one without this one first with all this one. Now check back again. This side. Oh my god. See the strength? Okay, better than just now. Much more better than just now. And can rotate. And this part, uh, I feel the pain. But not as flexible as just now. Okay. So at least I can feel without the without the, the coins. Then I can feel the vibration and the pain. And even now, I try to rotate back to this circle. It's much more better than just now, but it's still got vibration. All right, the DIY for this one. You see, this one. You got two knee together with you. So this one, how to fix? So fix is not punching, not punch punch not punch don't if you punch it's more injured your tennis elbow uh, because uh, usually you can see all oh, I treatment is holding like this and like this and snap pop up pop up it is a correct correct uh, things and now you see uh, you put your hand together and using your two knee to grab grab your hand so where to grab you grab like this or grab like this they have a different one uh. so for me i will say i will grab straight line okay you can see uh, if like this no point because you can't use your strength on like this you move in and out on it but you cannot move out and down so the purpose you want to and trap this one and open up the tennis elbow your hand must be straight must be straight and grab very hard over here to here see and then pull your hand out and if possible you can feel this part see here yeah you can feel the grab grip the grip over here so what you do first 
grab very hard and pull your hand up a little bit. And this hand, next to your, next to your waist and try to push this side. How many strength? You just like push a little bit early. Okay, you try to hear the sound. Huh? sound tick tock that's all I want wow. all right so uh, just now what I'm doing I'm locking on this part position because our elbow uh, elbow from the waist from this line there were two bone like this whatever you can see this hand there are straight line like this whatever you turn uh, the bone is called like a chopstick compressed over right thing you see just imagine here is one and here is one and connected and connected okay whatever I rotate uh, you can see the line is the opposite direction it's called entrapment so this is a uh, very important because why straight and bend straight and bend you can see the bone over here is entrapped from here to this point this point to this point so again put over here wrapping and not like this, huh? Don't grab like this, because this one you you have no no purpose to turning. You put like this, holding like this, hand to your two knot and thumb over here and push in slightly mm. Mm. and rotate mm. and forty-five from back to front. Mm. Wow, hear the sound again? Big small sound. All right. Now my hand a bit numb because of the circulation. Uh, I, I every day trick people also same thing to me. So that's why uh, this is one of the frozen, uh, what I call the tennis elbow injury. You can do that. Now let me check back. My left hand, very easy. Like here not rotate, 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 rotate. How about and the right hand? Yes, more and more flexible. So you can see more and more flexible. <laughs> so my neighbor say hi to me. So that's it. Yes. Yeah, very good. I can feel the difference. You can see the point. Good. Whatever now, you can see back. This is the tingling point. This is called tennis elbow point. And I press back over here. Not the pain really well. Actually, it's quite effective. So this is one of the my um, DIY for the tennis elbow. And try to can repeat the action. Yes, I can do that. Repeat the action. All right. Just recap back. So before we end, we recap back. So usually for tennis elbow injuries is due to like a lot of people like to sleep on one side. <coughs> Sleep too long and this is a rotate and effect. Then suddenly early in the morning you wake up you can't take your bag or cup of coffee or so wow no strength at all. Then the second thing a lot of people like to like a uh, long screwdriver and suddenly unstop them and check the nerve also and the jerk people and also open the can. Sometimes open open a boop, one sound boop. this one also means alignment and not tennis elbow because of due to the doing tennis, playing tennis got injured. There are many kind of sport also can injure the tennis elbow, not only. But for me, I think I got 10 patients injured the tennis elbow. I think about 2% playing tennis is injured. The another eight is due to another one. And checking like this in and out, and checking this part in and out. Yeah, now it's smooth. And usually you can use a white core bottle, fill up the water and rotate from this angle to the angle wow more strength really good see more strength so how to fix for the DIY for the tennis elbow you want this point and trap on top you want to open up like this first thing you can find the very short point part you're using putting the points on top put over here you try to Put or exactly on the pain point. After the pain point, you glue on top first. Then the bottom part, you try to pull as hard as you can. Pull as hard as you can. So we can feel. Yeah, no more pain. 
Then the second thing, how to fix. So give your hand, don't like this, not like this, huh? not like this. Try to flat, stem line with you, flat using your knee to grip. Nah, grip, oh, cannot move freely your hand, like someone lock your hand. Then using your another hand from a sideway, locking your sideway over here and grab it hard and try to try to push front the jerk small velocity of impact <coughs> ah, like this and the second one push at the back and push the front a little bit strength on it <coughs> okay not too hard after you broke your wound then you have to look for it <coughs> ah, got another sound now hear a very gentle sound Click. or hear a little bit uh, uh, like your tendon is like a bubble sound that should be okay then after that you can try back how you try turn turn okay ah, this is called broken hands wow, like this also turning also can ready like that knock 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 all right so guys hope you all guys uh, learn uh, this uh, variable technique to um, fix your your tennis elbow and uh, hope you guys uh, stay healthy and DIY and I Chris Leo. thank you very much and I see you guys uh, tomorrow 6 30 same time